uh, the South Korean market has exhibited strong demand for uh, cryptocurrencies over the years and has quite often been the primary driver behind the rising trading volume of altcoins. Uh, according to on-chain analyst and CEO of CryptoQuant, Ki Young Ju, the country's largest exchange, Upbit, had an 87% altcoin dominance in its overall trading volume in January. A uh, closer examination found that altcoins accounted for a sizable share of trading volumes in 2023 as well. Uh, uh, in comparison, uh, Coinbase, the largest crypto trading platform in the U.S., had just 45% of its trading activity dominated by altcoins. And for the uninitiated, the Korean market is mostly made up of retail investors due to regulations against institutional investors. And then, you know, there's a... On the other hand, Coinbase is considered to be the gateway for institutional investors to uh, purchase cryptos. Um, most of their focus has historically revolved around uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, as a result, these two leading assets control the sizable portion of the volume pie. Uh, historically, uh, Korean exchanges have witnessed higher prices of popular tokens as compared to foreign exchanges. Uh, this phenomenon is called Kinchi Premium and is driven by a high demand for cryptos in the country. And, however, the appetite wasn't limited to altcoins. Of late, Korean retail investors have also shown a willingness to buy bitcoins. According to Ambi Crypto's analysis of crypto quant data, the index, which measures the percent difference between the market price of Bitcoin on Korean exchanges and other exchanges, surged dramatically. This implied that more investors were willing to pay a premium for the purchase. A similar trend was observed for Ethereum's uh, demand in the Korean market. According to data highlighted by Ki Young Ju, trading volume on Korean exchanges is roughly 31% of Binance's the world's largest crypto trading platform, and this is despite Korean exchanges having just 12% of the global inflows.